Hi guys, it is currently five minutes past eight in the evening. I've had a nice hot shower and washed my teeth, hence I've got my retainer in. Now I'm feeling nice and relaxed and ready for bed. I think I'm just gonna do some reading and then aim to be asleep by half eight because you know, half four start in the morning. As I'm going to sleep though, I always think about exactly what I'm going to do when I wake up, then have breakfast and what process I'm going to go through because it is a quick turnaround. So I'm working six till half one, then I get my break and then I'm going to my other job at five o'clock. So yeah, gap year. This is the book I'm currently reading, almost halfway through. I also need to charge my phone. That's the difficult thing, finding time to charge my phone. Hopefully I'm on bread and then till tomorrow. So I've laid all of my uniform out ready for me. My bag's just there so I can literally get up and go in the morning. No messing around. <laughs> nice and warm. Absolutely awful night's sleep. I woke up freezing. Barely slept at all. Nevertheless, every morning I click on Duolingo to complete my daily Spanish lesson and maintain my 96 day streak. so cold. <laughs> Once I'm finally able to remove my freezing arms from my duvet, I put on my deodorant in preparation for the likely sweaty day ahead. It's now five o'clock. I'm gonna get dressed and then get breakfast. So it's just ten past five. I've officially gotten up, got dressed. And I'm just going to brush my hair before getting breakfast. Early mornings aren't bad once you've actually woken up. It's the getting up that's hard. I just find it crazy that some people are still asleep. That's so weird. I'm just going to put it in a side ponytail because the proper ponytail always flies in my face. Cute. Breakfast time. I always prioritise getting ready over breakfast as I'd rather not stress about actually being late in the morning, but getting breakfast is also highly important. As my mum was so kindly giving me a lift this morning, I did have time to make some lunch, hence prepared a tuna and sweet corn sandwich on a soft white roll. Again, another new and scary thing for me if you watched my Arthid video. Having a special lunch somehow makes the date more exciting, you know? I've got my shoes on. Following this, I brush my teeth and set off at 10 to 6 to arrive on time, put my sandwich in the back fridge and start work. This clip is from when I went on my break, collected my things from my locker and subsequent sandwich from the fridge before sitting down in the staff room, devouring it and taking a bit of a breather. I'm knackered. After finishing work, I eventually found the energy to embark on my 30 minute walk home. So today has not been a good day. 
I was on bread this morning, which I was excited for, but I had such a bad night's sleep last night that I literally didn't have any energy, so I just had to do the best I could, but I'm so tired now, and I've got to go to my other job. I feel like I'm getting more independent now, which I thought was good. And then I was on till all day, and I had one customer that just is still playing on my mind, just the way she spoke to me, what she wanted, and like what I should have done instead. It's still playing on my mind, but I'm not going to go into detail. So now I'm really tired. It's currently five to three after I finished work at half past one. I sat in the canteen for half an hour before walking home. About half past two I got home and now it's about three o'clock. I'm gonna have tea at quarter to three and then I'm going to set off for my other job at half past four. I'm very thankful I'm getting a lift, which I'm so thankful for because honestly I could not get the bus. And I should be home for about half past nine. I'll be having some chocolate, a brew, and I'll be going to bed. <laughs> so now I need to brush my hair, get changed, sort my room out, pack lunch for tomorrow, eat my tea, and then possibly just do some admin bits as well. I really want this to be like, yeah, look at me, look how productive I can be, I can get up, go to work, then in my break between my other job, I can go and be productive at home as well, and then I can go to my other job, and then I can come back, and it can all be fantastic. But today it's not gone like that. And I'm really sorry it hasn't gone like that. I need a cup of tea. So this is what I'm currently wearing, just my nice new white jumper, black jeans and my white ankle socks so I can chuck my converse on to go to work and then I've got my dressing gown and slippers over it so I can finally chill. I also have my hair to the side so it doesn't get in my way and my hair is also technically tied up hence can allow me to go into the kitchen and work as a waitress. At half three I chopped up some lettuce and toasted my burger bun, made everyone a cup of tea whilst my chicken burgers cooked as well as caught up on some TV. So this is what I had for tea that night, a double chicken burger, lettuce, mayo and a toasted sesame seed bun along with some mayo chop for a handful of fries. Then mum dropped me off at my second job. Then I got changed into my uniform and completed my shift. Obviously I can't film much so this is me after finishing my shift and heading home for the second time that day with a lift from my dad. <laughs> Straight through the front door, slippers on, kettle on, brew in hand, relax. That was a good shift, although it was a busy but not busy shift, so but it kind of went fast if you know what I mean. I'm just going to watch the rest of my programme and then hopefully I'll be up to date to be able to watch it live in... 15 minutes. Got a cup of tea and my grandma always brings treats on a Friday so I've got a raspberry donut and some chocolate. And then I'm gonna curl up and feel sorry for myself and get some sleep. <laughs> yum 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 yum. I did not finish my program last night because I just absolutely fell asleep. That was an accident, it wasn't deliberate. But I had the best night's sleep I've had in such a long time last night. Like when you wake up and you feel that your hands are all tingling because you're so relaxed and cosy. Nice. <laughs> so I really don't want to get up now, but I am at work in three hours, so I need to get up and get cracking. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>